Let me just walk on out of this pasture, not because I'm scared, but because I have things to do. I have things to get done. Run! Run, Stella! No! Rita! Rita! No! Stella, run, sweetie! Rita, Stella, run! Stella, faster than that! Oh, God. Well, morning, folks. Today, we have a very important job we're going to work on. And uh, I think you can all see the reason why. It's that time of year where the temperatures start getting warm. And if we're not careful, our pond will start growing some of the uh, algae and stuff that ends up turning your water a putrid green color. Now, there are things that we can do to combat that. And one of them that you're very familiar with is how we put different dyes and color into our pond. What that does is not only will change the color of your pond water, but it will also be able to mask and block some of the sunlight getting down to the bottom of your water, which creates all that growth. So that's what our plan is today. We've uh, stopped by Tractor Supply and I bought the chemicals that I need and I will take the Argo, which is able to float across the pond, and I will absolutely die. Not only the pond here at Longhorn Lester's, but uh, we'll make our way over to the sanctuary, and I'll do that pond over there as well. It'll look gorgeous. And then my plan is in a couple of days, I want to do my... My quarterly drone flight. That's right. You know, I've been doing that every... Hi, sweetie. I've been drawing that flown, uh, that flown up. I've been drawing... Draw. Can I just start this whole thing over? <laughs> I've been trying to fly my drone up over the property every three months or so and just get a nice aerial view. And I think that with all the grass being green, the trees are starting to all, you know, come out with their beautiful spring foliage we'll get our pond dyed nice and pretty the pond is also fairly full i mean it's not to capacity at all it's 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 a foot or so low but uh it's, it should be and make it for a beautiful video and so i'll be excited to bring you guys that and then what a world of difference you're going to be able to see from um not so much the property here the last flight that we took which was right before winter, there was no grass on that pasture over there at all. It was like a wasteland. And so we planted that rye grass and now it's all come out and it's going to be just a really neat before and after drone flight, which is not really an after, it's just a time lapse, you might say, from one season till the next. But uh, we're gonna get that up here in a couple of days. I'm gonna dye my pond first. And then we're also hoping to hold off long enough to have the second barn erected over at the J&L. I want to do that as well. But uh, excited about getting this pond cleaned up. Oh boy, and here comes the horses. And look who's leading the way, Rita. Now the question is, will she be sweet or is she gonna have the devil in her? Because I have no spanky stick. I have nothing to use as a defensive mechanism besides my voice. And whereas you all may be able to use your voice to command, yeah, she doesn't listen to me. Good morning, ladies. Good morning, sweet girls. Eh, she seems to be pretty sweet today. She may just want some loving. She may just want some loving. Let's hope that she just wants some loving and nothing else. Oh boy, here comes Bucky's too. I'll tell you something really fast. I'll, uh, wherever, wherever Stormy goes, you can find Bucky's. Bucky's loves Stormy. He does. Oh, I worry about this. You don't know how scared I am right now. I cannot show my fear. I shall not show my fear. I shall not show my fear. I'm not scared of anything right now. I have no fear whatsoever. 
I love me some Rita. I love Rita. Yes, I do. Y'all might want to run, though. Y'all might want to. Rita, Rita. Hey, you will be sweet. You will be sweet to these dogs. You will be sweet to me and these dogs. Okay, she just wants a drink of water. All is good. Rita's come for a drink of water. Stormy sure does look nice and slick down. Just beautiful right now. Oh, no, Bucky. She's like, I only got one eye, and I'm not sure about this. Bucky, this 12 foot wide. You can get across there with one eye. That spillway is 12 foot across. And that's 12 foot from the from the uh from the tire tracks. It's probably about 14 foot total. Reed, you gonna be sweet today, love. She's just not real sure about that yet. Not real sure if she's gonna be sweet or not. Come here. <clears throat> You're gonna be sweet to daddy. I love you. Mm -hmm. I do love her. Stormy, don't make things, but don't. Stormy, if you involve yourself in all of this, you're going to end up getting me hurt. Oh, you did it, Buckies. You did it, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Oh, wow. He's a great horse. Yeah, you can see the tint, the green tint of the water. And that's just because it's, uh, careful there. Everyone needs to be sweet. We're all going to be sweet to each other. I'm in a bad spot. I am between... I am between one horse and behind another one. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let me just walk on out of this pasture. Not because I'm scared, but because I have things to do. I have things to get done. Run! Run, Stella! No! Read up! All right. So for today's project, we'll be using the Argo 950SX 8x8 Huntmaster. Bum, bum, bum. And we will float this thing all the way across our pond to disperse our pond chemical. Now remember friends, this chemical is safe for fish. It's not going to affect any animals. It's non-toxic. It's simply going to put a shade and a dye in your water so that it can help block out some of the photosynthesis that happens when the sun can penetrate down through your water. And then um, I'm going to also hopefully have Jamie come join me. She can ride in the back and pour out the chemical as I drive around. I shouldn't call it chemical. I, I, don't, I don't really know what you would call it, but it's not really a chemical so much as just the dye. And uh, it'll be a lot easier if Jamie's here with me. I've done it alone plenty of times. It's just easier when you have somebody with you. Poor Rita. She just cannot seem to find herself amongst all of these really sweet, sweet, sweet horses. <laughs> She's just a wild child. <laughs> she is a wild child. Oh, I love her though. But she can she's just so hard to love. Have y'all ever had anybody who's hard to love? Seriously. Have you ever had anybody who's just hard to love? You love them to death, but boy, they're make it hard. Mm-hmm. That would be Rita. I should remind you that this stuff will dye your skin. You don't want to get it on you if you can help it. That's why I'm really happy she'll be the one pouring and not me. All right, before you ever take your Argo into the water, you have to make sure, just like on a boat, that you attach your plugs, the boat plugs. Both the boat plugs are in, so we will not be taking on any water. What kind of plugs? The boat plugs. Oh. What kind of plug did you think I said? The back plug? Yeah. I'm nervous. Would you rather drive? No, I'd rather not go. It's going to be a little bit of an incline. All right, we're in the water.
So it's only been about 10 minutes, but you can already see how that blue is all diluting into the water around it. And uh, well, in no time, we're gonna have us a really beautiful turquoise colored pond here. Uh, just one quick note in case you're curious, the more dye you add, the bluer the water gets. We don't like ours to be too colorful. We want it to look kind of fairly natural. At first, it'll be kind of a bright color, which will be a little bit, well, unnatural, unnaturally bright, but then it will begin to slowly dilute and turn to a really beautiful turquoise green in the uh, next couple of days. Well, friends, thank you all for watching. Everything looks beautiful around here. We're blessed to have you. And like I always say, things are funner and gooder when you have friends to share it with, even when that means dyeing your pond. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.